everybody awake? No. No? No? Okay, regular Tired Tuesday. All right, so what do you think of when you hear the words living history? Go for it, Derek. You're around other people doing things that are important. I like it. And what is a symbol? What do they do for us? Let me so. If something were to be symbolized, it would probably have a lot of meaning towards it. Yes! So what are some of the symbols we see? Behind Obama, there's nature behind it. Another symbol, like the pattern of her dress. Out of all the people she's on, one that I've seen that has like a different skin color. Right, and this is where we are linking in. We are combining the symbolism from both. So we've been working on the Obama Art Project. He's passed lots of great laws, helped lots of people. She was a great inspiration for girl power and black people overall. You were born what, what year? 2009. Working on a self-portrait with flowers that describes our future or like present or past. There's something fantastic about middle school. They're forming who they are. One of the things I'm always trying to tell them is you are free to try new things and feel confident in the things you have to say. I like that it doesn't have to be perfect and I want them to see like what kind of person I am. There's a lot of people who don't necessarily like me, but I hope that giving them a representation that I'm just like them will help. Miss Lebo, she understands that, like, you're going to make a mistake doing this project, and they really just want to push you to your best. My family's from Ukraine, and I added lots of sunflowers for Ukraine. To see the Obama portrait would be really nice. See what kind of flowers he has, too. Maybe something we have in common. There is nothing like the whole entire experience of walking through a gallery space. I'm so excited for them to go and see it in person. Especially while being a student at the school where Martin Luther King Jr. once walked, where Maynard Jackson, the first African-American mayor of Atlanta, came through. Black people that changed the world that went to this school. Museums need to really understand the communities in which they're situated and the narratives that they have the power to tell. A museum like the Hyde Museum here in Atlanta there's a way to look at the city and then we live other icons of black history. Also, just in terms of an idea around portraiture, there's a way in which we can see our own potential, our children's potential. All right, so waiting is a good thing. To see an entire room dedicated to something like this, it sets it up as something important to put themselves into that portrait. We have this immediate link. The most fabulous person ever, right next to Dolly Parton. I love how the speeches are like this place. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's huge. I wonder how long it took them to paint this. It just seems like he's on our level. He's more paying attention about you and what you want. As a teacher, you want them to put themselves into the position of possibility. Any kind of project where you can get them to fill that sort of idea that they can really respect each other, really celebrate who they are and love and feel confident in themselves, that's what I want to build. That's what I want to help create. For the high, we're really trying to determine what does it mean to be one of the most accessible institutions in the country. 
We've increased our collection around African American, Asian American, indigenous people. And so as the collection changes, then our work in education changes as well. The work that we're doing in the galleries is as relevant and as accessible to all of our students who come through the doors, regardless of race, class, um, gender, ability. 